Hey guys, get level here, and I made something for you. Yes, it's a brand new animated overlay pack, probably available as we speak on gumroad.com slash get level. Today I'm gonna show you everything that's included in the pack and how to briefly modify it. But I will also point out to more in-depth tutorial on how to install overlays, alerts, transitions, and all of that. Let's get right into it. So Azure is the name of the overlay pack and today I'm going to be going over everything that is included in the overlay pack. If you want to know how to customize it and how to install it, there will be links to other videos in the description to explain that in much, much, much more details. The only thing that you need to know for now is that if you have Streamlabs OBS, there will be a dot overlay file. That means that one click install, you go to settings, scene collections, import overlay, boom, everything is installed and you don't have to worry about anything but let's get into the files now okay so when downloading it it will be one main zip file that you need to unzip if you don't know how to unzip a file look it up on google once you unzip the file you will find four main folders one that says animated one that says image one that says overlay file for streamlabs obs psd those should be self-explanatory but the animated will have the animated stuff the image will be the static <laughs> not moving images and overlay files for Streamlabs OBS will be the dot overlay file for Streamlabs OBS and then PSD are Photoshop files. There will be two main Photoshop files, one for you to create your own panels using the font that will be linked in the description. Please read the description before you buy anything or before you download anything online and also in real life, in, in life in general. This life lesson with get level. Uh, they're not there for now because I haven't uh, put them, but by the time you're watching this video, they will be up there. So let's check out what is in animated. So first thing that you have is a background. I get a lot of comments and, and requests as, hey, what if I want to put this? What if I want to do that? What if I want to? This is how you do it. Okay, this is a background. You do whatever you want with it. I don't care. Just don't pretend you created it from scratch and don't sell it to other people. <laughs> then you'll have a uh, cam narrow. This is the webcam, but it's a little narrower. It's actually this one. It is close to being a square, but it's not quite a square. And then we will have camera wide. That will be a 16 by nine version of it. Those are full HD, by the way. So if you drag and drop them, you will see that. Yeah, they take the whole screen. So I had to scale that down in order to fit. Boom. We have the intermission. That is also a WebM. The WebM files have transparency most of the time. So that's why I, I use that file format because it allows me to make to poke holes in it. So <laughs> but the cool thing here is that in the intermission, I can place the overlay and then just place my camera behind it and then place the game up there I can place that behind the overlay and then boom it just appears I don't have to spend time to make things pixel perfect then of course we have to be right back starting starting soon and stream ending those are perfect loops by the way if you see them cutting throughout this video is because I'm just cutting the video to my voice so that there's no empty spaces but it's a perfect loop you shouldn't notice when it stops when it starts it's it's perfect loop that's the definition of a perfect loop boom starting soon and you have stream ending those are full 1080p 60 FPS PS, okay, which is something that probably doesn't show that well here either. Um, here, when it comes to alerts, I actually included 10 different uh, alert files. So we have bits, donation, follower, gifted sub, host, merch, raid, resub, and subscriber, plus a blank one. In case you want to, you fancy doing like some motion design, just go for it. Just don't ask me to teach you how to do motion design. Uh, and to give you an idea of what they look like, let me just drag and drop this one here. So boom, you have that little animation and it goes up top. So you can put a text delay of two seconds so it will say bits and then two seconds later it will tell you who give who gave the bits and how much for example is the same animation for all of them and then of course there's a transition you saw that let me go back let's check out the images in the images you get avatar avatar is a, a template for your avatar you just put your picture in an, any editing software any photo editing software and then you drag and drop this on top of it and it will create like a border you have a background image same thing if you want to do whatever you want to do with it if you want to put it on twitter you want to make it a facebook temp whatever just do whatever you have to do just don't sell it. Don't pretend you made it. Boom, that's the banner. This one is custom fitted for Twitch. Uh, you can add your social media, do whatever you want to do with it. And then uh, there's the labels, but I can't really show you because they're so, um, they're just white, transparent. So I can only show you them uh, right here. I made one that is completely blank with no icon. So if you want to add your own icons, go for it. And I also made one for non-affiliate. So it does not contain bits and does not contain sub. And then of course there's this one that is mostly intended for affiliate. So you'll have sub bits and then donation the other one is donation follow and then top donor and then of course the big big famous offline image for your twitch channel look at that 
Does it look good? Okay, as I said, this is the type of text after you download it and install the font from the description. This is the text that you'll be able to modify in the PSD folder. You will have one for the main text and then you will have one for the panels. Oh, panels. Let's look at the panels real quick. So um, nothing too fancy here. It's the classic panel panel about uh, this doesn't represent it really well because of the white around it. But there you go. Should I put a should I do a slideshow or something? There you go. Now it looks good. Boom. Oh, I should show you the labels like that too. Ah, there are the labels. Boom. I left those one like 1080p so that you wouldn't struggle too much installing them. You just put them there and then boom, you're good. And again, I don't have them here right now, but they will be there once you unzip the file. There will be the file for Streamlabs OBS and then two PSD files. One will say panels and then one will probably say text. Okay, so as usual, if you want to change the color, if you don't like blue, if you're like, it's too blue for me, do not worry. You can just add filters for everything that's going to be in the broadcasting software. And then you can add filters in any other editing software. If you have Photoshop, if you don't have Photoshop, that's fine. You can use photopia.com. You can go to um, Pixel. Pixel? Is it Pixel? It's not Pixel. Just use Photopia. It's pretty much Photoshop online. So you can do that too. Again, links will be in the description for everything. The transition, you don't know how to add it there will be a link in the description for that. So it will be available at gumroad.com slash get level. I can't say this enough. Uh, one thing that you need to know is that this is a pretty beefy uh, overlay pack. So if you have a good computer, I, I definitely suggest you uh, going with it. But if you're, if you're on a laptop, if you're on a Mac, like don't, don't even try it. Honestly, if it's, if it's going to be you coming back and telling me, oh, the transition is running slow or whatever, th th just don't do it. Just don't do it. This will work in OBS studio. It will work on in OBS live. It will work in, in Streamlabs OBS, obviously, and pretty much every um, broadcasting software that allows you to have WebM files and MP4 files and then just images, PNG images, really. Uh, as I said, the alerts need to be installed uh, manually by yourself. There will be a tutorial for that. It's really easy. And uh, yeah, please read the product description. Please, please, please. Again, I can't stress this enough. Read the product description before you buy. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can join the Discord. Please join the Discord. Link in the description. Uh, I don't answer DMs about overlay packs anymore. I only insert them in my Discord. So join the Discord. Also, there's like a thousand other streamers, experienced streamers there. So come around and make friends, okay? <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.